Okay, here we're looking at the word ancient. So, let's look at the simplest possible combination. A, N, C, as you can see the C is right there. I, E, N, T. Or you can draw the T. I, I tend to like to draw the T like so at the bottom, evenly, so that it connects onto the bar like so. It looks a little more uh, balanced. But again, we're usually not dealing with balance right off the bat, unless we're lucky. So let's look at the double letter combinations we can use here. First we've got the A, N. A plus N equals A, N. Uh, what else do we got here? And C, as we can see, they're pretty smooth. C, I, we could put the I here and then continue the word out of, remember, C allows for side chain, so you can build a little there and then continue there or whatever you like. Um, what else have we got? E, N, you can try to build N's inside of E's. I don't like to. I never, never do that because I just, especially when I'm writing fast, I find it looks really ugly. Um, and then NT, we've got that standard kind of option there. When I'm drawing NT's, I sometimes like to do it like that so that it's only two strokes. So let's try to do this up a little prettier here first. So we've got A N C I E N T. Okay, that's looking better, and it's, the strokes are getting reduced. What happens if we try to? Well, first of all, the other thing we can look at is we've got I. I and E can be combined by connecting the I on that point. So you can go I E. So if we did that, we'd have A N C I E N. We could then also try connecting the NT off of there. Um, what else can we do here while we're at it? We can go A, N, C, I, E, N, T. That's also valid. You could also put the E on the top part there. Remember, the the I cup is read first before the, the appendage is to the I cup. So that's, that's also valid. We've got a whole ton of options with this word here, actually. Let's just try to make one nice square-shaped one. So if we're dealing with a square, we're going to have... Say we'd start like so on the left side, maybe. And we could just draw the eye all the way up there. Ancient. I very often do this with Descript when I'm trying to make my square words. You're going to have to break them into sections and then connect them with the letters that allow for you to move back up and around. S's, I's, many letters allow for this. Some letters don't. So you have work with what you got. If you happen to have... We have to do it this way with this word because we're restricted from the more common option when you're making square words. The easiest way to do it is if you're lucky enough, which is very common, you'll have an O, an E, or a U at the very beginning of the word or right at the beginning. So when that happens, of course, you can just start fitting all the rest of the letters inside the, the, the letter. So you can just make your E really big. So for example, for end, you can do your end like so. And that's end, the D extends beyond. So if that's a bad example. Suppose I wanted to write the word only. I could go only, but I could also go O-N-L-Y. So when you want to make square words, if you've got one of those, those enclosed space vowels right off the bat, you're doing good.